Hello. Uh, in this video, I'll show how to update classes you see to the latest version. But before that, I have to clear something. This video is separated in two parts. One is you have to download the files and install it in local machine, in local host basically from like server. And then you have to up update it in the local host and upload it back to the lag server you need to do that because we have installed some composer packages and composer will not run in the live server it will only run in local host so in this part in the first part will show how to download and install it in the local host in the local machine or your laptop or desktop <coughs> first of all you need to keep in uh, you need to follow some terms and conditions first point is you have to be in the latest current latest version to update it to the latest release and you have to keep your backup of the project files and the database SQL file on the previous version if you lose any data among the process of update we can take the responsibility that's why you need to keep the backup of your project files as zip format and the database SQL file from the PHP admin. So if you on your customized code, if you have changed some CSS code or PHP code, then it will be overwritten by the updater. So keep in mind that too. So first of all, let's introduce you with the DAM. This is the software we'll need to install it in localhost. So if you search for jam and go to download, just download it according to your uh, OS if Windows or Linux or OS X uh, then you will find a XAM folder in your C drive after installation uh, but I have uh, specified the folder name in D drive I have specified D drive during the installation that's why my XAM uh, folder is in D drive your, in your case if you didn't specify that just go next 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 during installation you will find it in C drive ok after installing XAM follow along with me so you need to first of all download the files from your live server to local host or local machine in my case the I have uh, this is my website the pluses the latest current latest version this is my current latest version i'm going to download it from local uh, live server i have to zip it first so let's zip it and pause this video zip is complete compression is complete now let's refresh and download this zip file okay after the let's pause this one till it gets downloaded so as you can see the download is complete so I will copy this, <coughs> this zip file so cut it and paste it in the stdocs folder which is in D drive XAM folder and in the stdocs folder but first let's create a folder and I create it for test give it any name you want in your case the exam folder may be in the C drive as I told earlier that it will be in the C drive by default but if you have specified the folder then it will be in the, that folder specific folder during installation so wait for it so we have extracted the zip file now let's delete the zip file now we have to export the database SQL file from live server which is your current database let's export it so it's been downloading from the HTML admin let's pause this video so you have completed exporting this SQL file now let's create a database in our local host if you have installed jam then you will find a PHP my admin search for local host and you will be redirected to local host slash dashboard now click on the PHP my admin you will get the database 
let's create a database and name it test give any name in one so you have already have one so test you and name it so here I will import the exported database from my like server which is in my download folder so I have uh, I have exported this from my server so let's click on go go and wait for it until it's get imported so as you can see we have imported the database now we have to connect this database with the downloaded files we have kept in jams plus htdocs folders here in the jam d jam htdocs so go to core folder and open the env file open it with anything you want notepad or notepad plus plus or any code editor i opened it with notepad plus plus and set up the database of the local host so, um, the name is test you the database name is provided and the username is by default root if you didn't set any username by default it will be root and there will be no password by default after that just go to the url localhost slash test test is the folder name in the htdocs folder so you have to give the folder name localhost slash this folder name and we will find it installed in our local machine so here we go we have installed the current latest version and we will have to update it to the new release which we will be doing the do it in the next video thank you for watching